hey what's up you guys welcome back or it's your first time here welcome for today we are going to be testing out some new makeup yet again i know that you guys really enjoy these types of videos so i do plan on doing them often perhaps once a month let me know if you guys would like that i have so many new makeup products that i have tried out today on my face this is the look over here that i came up with i really want to play with some color you guys have been asking for me to go a bit out of my comfort zone so you ask you shall receive. Today's video is also in collaboration with Lancome, which is always really exciting. I believe this is like the fourth time that we've collabed together, which is pretty cool. They sent over their new matte shakers for me to test out. You guys know how much I love the Juicy Shakers. I would say these are probably like the complete opposite to the Juicy Shakers. The Juicy Shakers are really sheer and glossy, and these are completely matte and very bright and opaque. As you can see, I'm wearing one of them on my lips right now. This one right over here called Yummy Pink. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely let me know in the comments your thoughts on all of these new products that I'm testing out today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. Let's start off with the eyes and I'm going to prime my lids first with this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Now Urban Decay recently did come out with some new primers. This one in particular is called Free Base and it is a white primer. Now, white primers are really nice if you wanna make your eyeshadows pop. If you feel like your eyeshadows aren't really like showing up true to color and you want them to be a little bit more vibrant, then a white primer is a really great option. I have never tried this one, so I'm really excited to see how pigmented this is going to be. I'm just going to swipe this all over my lid. Oh wow, okay. That's very white. I'm gonna apply a little bit and then take my finger and sort of just blend it out a bit because although I want it to be white, I don't want it to be too, too opaque on my lid. You really can't go wrong with the Herb Degay Primer. They're a classic. They work really, really well. So I have no doubt that this is going to be a nice product. So for the eyeshadow today, I do want to play with a little bit of glitter because I have these Stila, the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I really want to try out the silver shade over here called Diamond Dust. For my eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking this Jouer palette. This is a brand new palette from Jouer. It's called Springtime in Paris. It's a matte and shimmer eyeshadow palette. It has some really pretty shades in here, some brights and some neutrals. So now I'm going to go into my Sigma E40. I'm going to grab this matte medium light brown. The eyeshadow seemed to be a little bit powdery. Like as soon as I dip my brush into it, the powder sort of goes everywhere. So that's something to keep in mind. And I'm just going to start to apply this right in my crease area, really buffing this out so that it's nice and just like smoked out. The white primer is definitely making this color pop. A color like this doesn't usually show up that much on my skin alone. So as I'm doing my eye look, I am keeping in mind that I plan on doing a brighter lip because I do have these Lancome matte shakers. I'm not really sure exactly what shade I'm gonna to wanna to use, but they are quite bright. So I do wanna keep the eyes neutral, but also not boring at the same time. I think I'm probably gonna go for the Cool Tone Pink. This is the shade Yummy Pink in the matte shaker. So I'm going to go into this purpley shade in the palette. I think that this would complement the lip color really nicely because it's also like a cool toned purpley shade. So I'm going to grab this on a smaller blending brush. This is my MAC 221. And I'm going to start to apply this more into my crease. They are blending so nicely. It's almost reminding me just a little bit of the Kat Von D eyeshadows because Kat Von D eyeshadows are also really, really powdery. Like they're, it's a very soft formula, but they're very easy to blend and like the color payoff is amazing. I'm sort of getting the same vibe with these shades they're blending so easily i'm actually pretty impressed with this palette so far so i'm just applying this into my crease and then a little bit on the outer corner of my eye just to start to add a little bit of depth to this look and then i'm going into a completely clean brush this is nothing on it this is my morphe e22 and i'm oh my god that definitely has something on it <gasps> wow that is so dangerous when you go into a brush that you think has nothing on it and there is so much on it, that's dangerous. Okay, I'm going into an actual clean brush. This is white, so I can see that there is nothing on this brush. <laughs> and I'm just going to blend out those outer edges. So now it's time to finally apply the glitter. So like I said, this is in the shade Diamond Dust. I'm not really sure what the best way is to apply these. It's like a flat doe foot applicator, so I think I'm just gonna honestly dive right into it and just apply this directly to my lid. Hopefully it'll be fine. Oh, oh yeah. So I'm sort of just applying this like in the first half or even like three quarter of my lid. 
and it is pretty easy to apply with just the applicator so I do like that I don't have to like go into a brush and add an extra step to be able to apply this. I really, really liked the way that applied. It was super, super easy. The glitter was really nice and opaque, very different from like the Urban Decay glitters. The Urban Decay glitters are a little bit more sparse when you apply them, so they're nice as almost like a topper. I have this Milk Makeup Blur Stick here. I have never tried it. I've heard so many people talk about this. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of it where my pores are the largest. So just around like my cheek area, maybe I'll put a bit on my chin and a bit on my nose because that's also where I have a little bit of texture. So we'll see if this makes any difference at all. So it's basically just like a jumbo stick. I'm just going to roll the product onto those areas and see what happens. So as for foundation today, I actually don't have a brand brand new foundation that I haven't tried yet. So instead I'm gonna be taking this Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. One product that I actually have not yet tried is this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster. It's a Hydra Plump Serum. So I'm going to try and mix a little bit of this into the foundation to see if it gives my skin a little bit more of a glow, if it thins out the foundation a little bit and makes it more natural looking, we will see. So I'm just gonna take probably one or two drops and just put it in the little foundation concoction that I have on my palette over here. And we'll see how far this gets me and then we'll build it up from there. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender and start to dab this into my skin. And from what I can tell so far, the primer is not pilling or flaking. So that's a great success. So I'm pretty happy about that. So that's what one really thin layer of the foundation looks like. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit more and just apply it where I need it. So this is typically how I like to apply my foundation. I always like to apply a very thin layer of it and then just build up specifically where I need it so that I avoid any cakiness. So instead of piling on just a really thick layer of foundation, I really just use what I need. This foundation is so pretty. It's giving me that like perfect amount of coverage without the look of any heaviness and it just has such a nice glowy dewy finish although that could be because of the serum booster that i mix in with it so i have a few tom ford products that i bought a few weeks ago that i still have not tried because i've been wanting to try them out on camera and i have this concealer pen over here from tom ford that i'm interested in trying out so this is in the shade 01 light looks like this comes with a little like sponge applicator i'm just going to twist it up so i'm just going to apply a little bit of this product underneath my eyes let's see how it's going to work I mean, it says that it's 01 light, but this looks like a more of a medium shade to me. This is not very brightening. I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender. This is really pretty. It blended out super easily. It's giving my under eyes a little bit of a glow too, and it doesn't look cakey or heavy at all. Um, it didn't really cover up my dark circles completely. This is definitely not a full coverage product. I can see myself using this more for every day. Okay, another Tom Ford product that I have over here is actually a powder. This is the Illuminating Powder in Translucent. So this really called my name because I am always for a setting powder that also gives me a little bit of a glow. It has no shimmer in it, which is great. It's just a setting powder. It has a little bit of like a soft yellow undertone. So I'm just gonna take this little brush from Morphe, it's my E49. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the product. It seems to be pretty powdery. Let's just like set the center-ish of my face, see how this looks. I mean, from what I can tell, it didn't make my skin look like the Sahara Desert, which is great. I feel like this is definitely a product that I'm going to have to try out just a little bit more to get like my full thoughts on it, but I don't hate it. So to finish off the eyes, I'm actually not going to put any shadow underneath my lower lash line because the eyes on the top are a little bit more on the dramatic side and I already am going to be applying a brighter lip. I don't want it to be overdone or too overboard. So I'm just gonna be applying mascara as well only on my upper lashes and not on my bottom ones just to keep it really nice light and airy. So for my mascara, I'm gonna be taking this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is actually in the limited edition unicorn packaging. The mascara is applied, so now I'm gonna go off camera and actually do my brows and I will be right back. For my bronzer, I have this new Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze Bronzing Shade. This one is in the shade 10. This is very intriguing to me. I love it when a product claims to be invisible on the skin. I'm all for a natural bronze, natural highlighted look. So I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Big Fluffy Powder Brush. Ooh, that is a really pretty shade. It's warm, but it's not red or orange. Oh, I think I like this. This is really nice. The powder itself also has a bit of a sheen to it, so it gives the skin a little bit of a glow. I think this is going to be going in my bedroom vanity because I really 
love the way that this looks. Bronzed, but not overdone. For my blush, got another Tom Ford product over here. This is the shade number 02 Love Less. It's a peach shade with some gold in it. It has a really pretty sheen to it as well. So let's apply some of that with a little blush brush. See how it looks. I'm gonna apply just a very small amount. Oh, oh yeah. I really love that. This is the type of blush that just makes you look so bronzy, even when you're not. Combination of this shade of blush and the bronzer is like the best ever. This is also going in my bedroom vanity because this has the potential to be a new favorite blush. Next for my highlighter, I actually have some Kylie highlighters over here that I figured I would finally test out on my channel. I bought these when they first released and it took three weeks for me to get them. It was ridiculous. So I'm going to take Con Candy Dream and it is sort of like a peachy pink gold champagne shade. It's definitely pretty. It's giving me a really nice glow. Um, it's a little bit too metallic for my personal preferences. You guys know that I prefer more of like a natural highlighter. Highlighters that are a little bit too metallic sort of accentuate a lot of the texture on my skin. I don't hate it. It's just not really a highlighter that I would see myself reaching for. So last but not least, it is time to finally apply the lip color. Once again, these are the Lancome Matte Shakers. So these look exactly like the original Juicy Shakers. You shake them up in the same way and then you have this like sponge-like applicator. And now I'm just gonna apply it to my lips. So here is what the lip looks like. You can see the finish of it is matte, but it's not completely flat matte. I would say it's like 90% matte with just a touch of a sheen, which personally for me, I actually do prefer because I find that that is way more flattering. And if you're wondering if these are transfer proof, you see the tiniest, tiniest bit of transfer, but really like not much. So that completes the finished look. So guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Definitely do not forget to give it a big thumbs up if you do and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And that is it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.